Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about image resizing, image scaling. I have an article on the subject. You can take a look at it if you'd like. And as I explained, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can approach this. There's a whole bunch of ActiveX controls that you can purchase. There's libraries, DLLs. You can obviously use external programs altogether. But today, I wanted to look at how simple it is to resize an image using uh, the WIA, Windows Image Acquisition Library. And on my article, I give you the complete function that's required. And you'll see it's very simple. We're going to review it in a second. And then I give a list at the bottom of a few other articles that uh, offer other forms of image manipulation, flipping, converting, rotating. And we'll look at those at a later date in other videos. So what I've done for this demo is I've created a folder here with two subfolders. So a folder that has original images and then one that will have our updated rescaled images. So right now the updated one is empty and the originals is just contains a few images that I randomly selected just to be able to play around with today and in future videos. Now, this code is simple VBA code. There is nothing here relating to access. So what I'm showing you today works in Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. It will work as long as you're in a VBA environment. If we go into the database, you'll see it has one object currently, and that is a module called WIA Resize. And in it, I have my WIA Resize image function. Um, it's very simple, nothing complex here whatsoever. The function takes four input arguments. So your initial image, the image you want to actually resize. The resized image, so where do you want to save it? Both of these are fully qualified paths, file names with extension. And then you give it the desired maximum width and the desired maximum height. And it will apply the most restrictive of the two because it will scale the image. We're not doing any um, distorted images here. They will remain scaled. So it uses the most extreme of the two when it comes to ratio changes. And we'll look at that in just one second. If you also look, I stated here, but this function was developed to use late binding. So we're using the create object. So you don't need any reference libraries. There's nothing in my references here relating to WIA. And that's the beauty of late binding. And as you see, everything is done right here. Okay, first we have to define a new image file because we're going to be creating a new image based on the original image. And then we're going to process it and output the, the revised image, the scaled image. And as you can see here, we're doing a scale and we're going to apply our maximum width and our maximum height that we put here. And then it just does a file save and it outputs it for us. So it's very straightforward. The code, there's nothing to it in reality. Um, and how does it work? Well, I want to just revisit what I said a moment ago about it applies the most extreme of the two uh, maximum width and heights. So I'm just going to put here we're going to play around just for a second with the image called kid. So if I come here on my desktop and I do into my sample original, you'll see the kid image here. And if I hover over it, it's 1280 by 960 currently. Okay, 1280 by 960. And what we're going to do is we're going to save it to our updated folder kid. And I'm going to leave the width at 1280. And I'm going to tell it I will, so my maximum width I'm leaving at 1280, but I'm saying my maximum height should be 150, which currently is 960. So if we run this, you'll see it returns true. So the operation completed. And if we come into the updated, you'll now see if we hover over it, it applied the 150, but it didn't leave it at 1280 because it did it scaled. So it did proportionally. So it took the most extreme change. 1280 to 1280, it didn't change. So there's nothing extreme there. But 960 down to 150, that was the one. And then it scaled the width proportionally. So at the end of the day, we end up with the same image, just smaller. Okay? So this is now the, the revised scaled image. 
If you compare that to the original one, you'll see how it's much smaller, you see? And obviously you resize an image, your file size decreases, but so does the quality of the image. So these are things that, you know, you have to judge and pick and choose according to what you're applying. But as you can see, it scaled it properly. If we come here and let's change this, and we're gonna switch it over to 400, and we'll switch this back to 960 and run it. You're gonna get the error that the file exists. So what's important to note here, and, and it will not overwrite it, is we can either add, if we really wanted to here, some type of overwrite option, or when you're calling this function before calling it, you validate that the file exists or not and act accordingly. So I'll just come here and delete it out of my updated folder so we can proceed and test it again. So we're not changing the height, but we are changing the width. And as you can see, it worked. And now if we come and hover over it, it applied the 400 and then scaled the height according to the ratio for the width. And if we open it up, you'll see it's a smaller image than the original. And that literally is all there is to know about scaling an image with WIA. I didn't feel it was 100% complete as I demonstrated the potential of the issue with files already existing and it would not overriding. So I decided to modify the function slightly. I'll post uh, the update on my website shortly. But I've added here, as you can see, an optional input argument of overwrite. Um, and as you can see here, I, it's a simple little bit of code at the beginning where we check to see if the resized image exists. If it does, then it comes here and it checks. If the overwrite was set to true, then it's going to simply delete it, and then we proceed as normal. And if it wasn't set to overwrite, well, then there's no point continuing. The file exists. We're not allowed to overwrite it, so it's going to exit the function. Other options obviously could be you could modify the file name and add uh, sequential numbering or God knows prompt the user for a new file name and path. There's all sorts of options here, but I just wanted to demonstrate that, you know, we could do something here. So just to prove case in point, we're still here. Updated kid is there. It exists. So if we leave it as is, so I'm leaving the default optional as false, so do not overwrite. If we run this now, it's going to simply exit as false. It cannot proceed. But now if we change this to, let's say, 200, and we add the optional of true, overwrite it if it exists, and we run it, it says that it did it. And if we go and validate now, this should be scaled at 200 as it is there. So I will update the uh, the post on my blog. Um, it's a useful addition, I think, and now you can handle pretty much every case scenario. Hope this helps some of you out. As you can see, resizing an image is very easy, and we can all do it with a simple late binding technique with WIA. I'll see you around in the next video. If you don't mind, like, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if this is helpful, uh, if there's other image manipulations that you guys are seeking information about specifically, and I will do my best to accommodate you. Have a great day, guys.